I'd like to ask you guys a question. Do you think that Allo is trash? If you answered yes, I'd like to ask you another one. Were you born a buffoon? Or is it something you've learnt? Have you always been such a pillock? Who taught you these idiotic ideas? Were they an imbecile? Or were they just a moron? Ah, uh, you're not an idiot, don't worry. A lot of people in the community seem to believe that Allo is terrible, and I'm here to say no, it's actually kind of good. In today's video, I'll be covering how to play Allo, what dinos you can kill and what dinos you want to avoid. I'll be including a PvP tutorial teaching you how to fight with Allo, and about 40 minutes of extra PvP footage for you to learn from. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you, and enjoy. Allo is good at everything, but great at nothing. And that's why people think it's so bad, because it excels nowhere. Allo is heavily reliant on player skill, and if you don't know how to play it, you're going to perform terribly. Allo has no crutches. There's no high bleed, no high health, nor damage. It is the most average dinosaur in the game. But that does not mean it's bad. When you take something this average, all you have to do is improve it a little bit, and it will be great. And the way we're going to improve it is with our skill. Let's start with the three fundamental tactics of Allo. The first one is tail riding. If you're fighting anything that is an apex or just bigger than you in any way, you're going to want to tail ride. It's a tactic which means you can avoid their heavy damage attacks on the front and stay behind them landing damage while you're safe. You can also avoid stomps quite easily with Allo, as you can see on the screen right now, so tail riding is an amazing tactic. The second tactic is having very dynamic PvP. You do not excel anywhere, so you can push your opponents into any field you want. Like for example, the Pycnos field is hit and run, but if I say, okay, I'm just going to hit trade, and whenever you try and charge me, if I can't avoid it, I'm going to bite you as many times as possible, then you're pushing them somewhere they don't want to be and then they're going to lose if they continue to fight that way. The final tactic is using your tail attack at the correct times. Allo tail attack is very important as we have no leg attacks. No kicks, no stomps, nothing like that. So if you don't want to be tail ridden, and if you want an extra tool in PvP, then it's time to start using tail attack. Now let's talk about what you can kill. I've compiled a little picture here of the dinosaurs I think you'll be running into the most. That are your size, of course. I'm sure you'll be running into a bunch of apexes, but we're not going to talk about that because you can't really solo apexes. I've made a little color-coded system for you. So obviously, the green is I think you can kill these pretty much every time. I think all of those are pretty easy to defeat if you play it well. Now, the yellows, or the ambers, if you will, are dinos I think it really depends on skill. Like with Suko, sure, Suko beats Allo most of the time, but if the Suko is worse than you, you can win. Same with Dilo, I can't tell you how many Allos I've killed on Dilo, but then again, I can kill a Dilo when I'm playing Allo, so it's really skill dependent. Same with Cryo. The Reds are Dinos where if your opponent and you are the same skill, or there's a little bit of a difference, it's not going to matter. Like with Mape, Mape is always a close fight, but Mape always wins. Dime absolutely steamrolls you, and Z-Rex, well, <laughs> you're just going to get rolled. Now, here are the herbivores within your tier that I think you'll be fighting. Now, honestly, there isn't many. Like, I was kind of surprised when I was looking for herbivores you could be fighting when I just didn't find many. I didn't count the patchies because they're a little too small, a little too weak. But yeah, here's the color-coded system for you. Now, I apologize for blowing your socks off. But yes, Kentro is green. Now, Kentro's hitbox is perfect for Allo. Kentro can't hit you. Kentro cannot hit your head, cannot hit your chest, because you're just a little too tall. So that means if you just follow the Kentro, biting it, the only way the Kentro can hit you is if either you let them get behind you, or if they trade a blow with you. And Kentro cannot trade blows with an Allo. It just doesn't have the health for that. Now, for the others, we have the three trikes. Honestly, they're just not amazing into Allo. Nisuto was the the best performing one, but I still think if you play it correctly, you'll always win. Now, I know it's kind of crazy to put Lamb as a yellow, but the fight is skill dependent. 
If the lamb doesn't know how to manage their cooldowns correctly, if you can bait their tail, if you can, if they just let you land bleed on them while they're healing, anything wins you that fight. The aloe versus lamb matchup is perfectly like almost balanced. And what makes lamb so much better is the heal cool. But if the lamb has a skill issue and you can land bleed, then that completely nullifies it and it's a fair fight. Now, the reason Iggy is red is because I think Iggy has more room for error. Iggy is such a strong herbivore at the moment. I think they'll be changing it eventually, giving it a TLC and whatever. But at the moment, Iggy is super strong. Tail attack and back kick are impeccable abilities. And the thumb, although it's a bit crap, is still defense. I just think that against a decent Iggy, you will lose every time. But I quickly want to mention the size of the skill difference matters, okay? If your opponent is straight trash, it doesn't matter what dino they're playing. I'm speaking on a basis of every player here is average with a possible slight skill difference each way. Now here we have Allo's hardest official dino matchup. This fight is one of the driving factors that led me to make Suko one of the yellows instead of one of the reds because... Well, you'll see. I'll do a little analysis at the end. Okay. That's okay. Now, we have to be careful of that though, because that did hurt. Nice, nice. Keep just baiting that tail going in on the cooldown. Oof, okay. There we go, tail cooldown again. Stomp's coming out probably. No, it sounds some bleed. We have to turn, we have to turn. Good, good, good. Tail, stomp, there's stomp, okay, okay, just keep staying behind, we're doing very well, hmm, be careful this tail, this tail really hurts, there we go, there we go, tail again, yep, now we go in, tail, go in, just repeat the same thing. And if he doesn't tail, if we if he won't give in to the bait, we just go in anyway. Hmm, almost out of stam, it's time to Oh wow. This is gonna be incredibly close. Oh, I, I really need to know how much stam he has. I can't let him face me. This is going to be so close. Oh my god. Now imagine if I baited one more attack. If I didn't get hit by that stomp. If I had just a little bit more stam. Or if the Suko made one mistake. That is why I've got Suko on yellow, because it is so, so, so skill and situation dependent. Now this is a fight I had no intention of winning. This was a fight to test and push the limits of Aloe's tail riding capabilities, and I think I did pretty well. All right, let's just get out now. We don't need to be hit by that. I'm lying, I'm so, I just want this tail ride. Okay, some nice tail riding here, some very nice tail riding, we're doing a very good job staying behind, these kicks do hurt though. Take it slow, we're doing an amazing job. 
Oh, of course that lands on me. And so does that, apparently. Okay, we got bleed on him again. That's big. Okay, we just got to stay out the out the kick distance now, which is very hard to do. Hmm. He's gonna stop and kick me again. Yep. Get out the kick distance. Out, out, out. Like another kick and I'm dead. Okay, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> yep, he got me there. Finally got me. I finally messed up the terror ride. I mean, I think I did pretty well. I 1v1 did Apex and I got him that low. I guess this really just shows how strong terror riding can be. Now in this fight, my mic wasn't turned on, so I'll do the narration now. I'm obviously fighting a Metri, but this fight is not to show you that I can beat a Metri, because every Alu should be able to beat a Metri. It's to show you how good tail attack is. In this fight, I tail attack a lot, and you get to really see the value of it. Now obviously, just chasing him around, biting him when I, when I can, just circling because I've got a really nice turning circle with the build I'm running, and you know, just general fighting. I get him incredibly low, he runs off to pop a heal cool and then obviously keeps running to heal. I say, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna sit here, get my stand back, and then we'll get back into it whenever the hell I'm ready. Because I know the Metri's full health. You know, Metri heal cool is insane. Once I'm happy to continue, the Metri's obviously full, so I start again. I go look for some bleed at the start, I don't land it, and now I'm kind of just staying stationary-ish, spinning, Spinning my camera around so I can see when I should be tail attacking, when I should be biting, when I should be doing a little maneuver. Like, look at that perfect tail attack. I'm just playing somewhat passive, letting the Metri choose where it wants to go, and I just attack wherever the hell it is, you know, because tail attack is so good. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get across this. Like, look at tail attack. I'm spinning. Oh, Metri's behind me. Bang, instantly. A full body shot with tail, and I turn around. Oh, a body shot again. Like, it's just so, so strong. And then obviously Dimitri's feeling this damage, but what are you going to do? You haven't got a heal call again, so now I'm going to start chasing a little bit. Dimitri gets behind me, once again, smack him with tail attack. Now I'm chasing him, trying to bite him, once again, smack him with tail attack. Well, I tried there, I actually missed that one, but whatever. Once again, tail attack, and now I'm turning around trying to get him, but once again, tail attack. <laughs> Now I'm going to give you my full final impression of Aloe and then I'm going to give you just a massive amount of PvP for you to watch whenever the hell you want. Or, you know, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. But I know people like PvP content and I filmed about an hour of Aloe footage so I'm just going to whack it at the end of the video. My final thoughts on Aloe are you have to be good to really succeed with it. There are some better options but nothing can do what Aloe does. Aloe is quite beginner friendly in the term of in like the sense of game sense you don't need to know much to play allo you just need to know how to play allo you don't need to know much about the game you don't need to know how to bleed how to do whatever it's quite an easy play style as long as you know what you're doing it's a dino that does get overlooked a lot mainly because everyone seems to think it's bad when it's not but also because there are some better options you know if you want to bleed you go something like dime or dilo or mape if you want to do hit and run, you go Pike No, or you go like Austra Raptor, or whatever the hell it's called. There are better options for different niches, you know? Allo doesn't fit any niche, it's just an average, basic dino that is good at everything, great at nothing. But is it bad? No. Do mods, on the whole, smash official dinos? Yes. Is that Allo's problem? No. So, obviously, Allo is the best on official servers, like, it's that's where you're going to have the most success. But you can play it. You can play it on modded. So give it a go, guys. I really think you'll enjoy it. If you see a Mape, though, you should run. Because <laughs> Mapes will mess you up. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I think Allo is pretty good, and I'm going to be playing it more for sure. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, and now it's time for just a bunch of PvP. I hope this is helpful for you guys. 
Let's do this. Against the Dasp, we know it has heavy cooldowns and heavy attacks, so yep. That's gone already. There's no bite. So instantly we get two hits there. And now we're going to be looking to stack some bleed. Hmm. He's going to come in for a heavy bite again. We dodge it. Is that bleed? No. Okay. Don't be crazy. Don't be like... I don't want to be spamming my claws. I need to look after my stamina. Let's bait the heavy. Now we go in for... Mmm. It's going to be hard to land these claws, but it would be really beneficial to do so. Here we go. Here they are. Is that them? No? Oh my god. Okay. I, I really don't know how that isn't hitting. Regardless. There we go. There are the claws. And now we have the extra damage. Now let's play a little more aggressively. Staying behind as we have traction. Be careful with the heavy bite though. Tail attack. Bait the heavy. Oof. Okay. And now he's he's very low. We can just finish this up right now. Okay, actually, no. Let's not be stupid. Don't run into his tail. Still play smart because Dasp is super, super punishing if you mess up. We're going to tail kite here. Here we go. He's dead. GG's. GG's. Okay. Now into a mape, it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. If we let him land these charged claws, it's fully over. So the second he starts running, I start running. But we don't want to use all our stam. Okay, now that's done, let's just go in for a bite. Mape is squishy, so if we punish his like messes up with my bites, it's um, we're going to be doing great. Just don't want to be running all the time because, of course, traction... No stam regen. If he charges up, I just leave. We turn around perfectly easily. It's alright. It's quite hard to terrorize an ally. We can turn fast and we can turn weirdly as well. Okay, there you go. You charge up. I just go the other direction. We're not doing that. That's not happening. <laughs> that is not happening. There we go, we got bleed. Big bite, huge bite. Big tail attack. Oh, good tail ride. All right, now we gotta use our tail here. No, we're gonna, I see an opportunity to go in here. Alright, we gotta avoid this and land a big bite. Nice. Oh wait, we're gonna bleed out. Ah, well. Yeah. Okay, into a pike no. Just avoid the charges. Land shots on the cooldowns. There we go, see? A charge avoided. Now we try and land some. Ooh, actually, I don't know what we're going to be able to land here. We just have to avoid these charges and burn down the stam. That was a good bite there. And we can turn into him here too. That was another good bite. Now what I want to happen is if I'm going to get caught by a charge, I want to land a bleed in return. Ooh. Come on, let me land a bleed on you. Where are you going? What are you doing? You want to trade a bleed for a charge? I'll do that. Let's do that. Come on. Bleed for a charge. Here we go. Oh, that was a bleed for a tail attack. That's not good for you. Oh, there we go. No, turn into a bleed for a charge. Hmm. Come on. Come back. Now eventually he's just going to turn, and then he's going to try and... Ooh, okay, so he's a tail kiter with Pykner. Now now we know that, we can 
avoid it a lot more successfully. That was an amazing bit of turning from me. Okay, he's looking, he's looking scarred. You looking for a charge? That's a big body shot. You're looking for a charge, aren't you? You want to turn around, but I'm not going to let you. I'm going to keep turning into your body. Do it, turn around again. Yeah. Now, gotta be careful. We haven't got loads of stam left. Okay, come on. Stop getting hit by these tails. What am I doing? Yeah, you want to charge? I'll take a. I'll take another charge for a bleed if you want. Because I, I feel like I'm not gonna land it otherwise. Come on. I'll take it. I'll, I'll happily take it. I'm just going to sit here, try and regain some stem. Okay, that is an interesting play. Yep, fine by me. Fine by me. Now, he's trying to get his bleed off, but I don't really want that to happen. Oh yeah, good bites here. Don't lose him here, don't lose him here. Oh lovely, we'll save that final bit of stam for when we're gonna need it. That was a really good chase, I got some good bites there. <laughs> yeah, you wanna charge me? Let's do it. If he charges me, I'm just going to bite him. No claws, no nothing. That's enough trying to land bleed. We haven't got to stand for it anymore. I'm also going to try and... Not condition. Well, I guess condition. I'm going to try and condition him to think I'm not going to push him. And he can keep trying these... T oh. Okay. Oh, this is bad for you. This is really bad for you. I want him to think I'm not going to push him when he's trying to tail kite me. So he gets, like, a little closer. Because look, he's trying to tail kite like this. I'm just going to keep dodging with my head instead of... Yeah, yeah, and eventually I'm just going to push him. He's not going to expect it. So now he's got a charge up. I think I'm going to try and avoid this charge. Come on. And now you're getting your stamina back. It's alright. Come on. You wanna sit down? Yeah, I'm right on you, bro. That's not happening. Look, I've got no more stem. Oh, look at me. Yep, and you're dead. GG's. GG's. Going into an Iggy? We're gonna have to just do our very best to avoid getting hit by excessive tail kiting and back kicks. We need to land bleed, but it's gonna be incredibly hard. Yeah, see, this is this is going to be really hard. Maybe we tail kite ourselves. Hmm. We just want to drain it, Stam. Just keep, yeah, running, tail kite. Go ahead, tail. Thank you. I want to land bleed, but it's so risky. I actually just don't even think it's worth it. Because I could just get hit by a back kick. That's not even bleed, how? Here we go, big bleed. Okay. Okay. Good big bites, big bites. Good little tail kite there. Oh, what am I doing? That was so obvious. Hmm. 
Okay, we make him use his tail. And then we go in for the tip. Back kick. Tail, bait the back kick. No back kick, okay. That's a massive bite. Now we turn into him here. Lovely dodge on the back kick. Two bites there, that was really good. I don't think we win this so sadly. No, we definitely don't. Nikki is so good, I, I can't lie, we just don't. Now against the UT, obviously we're not going to be able to get much bleed damage. But a bleed could stop his primal mender, that could be huge. We are going to completely ignore bone breaks, we do not give a crap about them. We don't care at all. First thing we want to try and do, yep, perfect. And a bleed. You want to try and terrorize me? It's not going to happen. Now your bone breaks up because it's a terrible ability. And I'm pushing you and you have bleed. Oh, hold on. This could be a huge start. Massive turning. Yeah, we keep landing these body shots. Oh, perfect. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? You're, you're just finished. Well, these tail attacks are doing quite well. We climb off here. When's he going to turn? Now? You're very fast. Yeah, this is it, GG's. GG's. Okay, into a cryo, I, I really don't know what we're going to do. Because the tail riding is so strong on cryo. And one of Aloe's biggest counters is getting tail ridden. That's a good bleed from me. That's an amazing bleed from me. Now let's capitalize on that. Now he's got frostbite active. And he's going to start tail riding the absolute hell out of me. So what we're going to do is just turn into him and try and land as many bites as possible before that happens. Here it comes, yep. Yeah. We're doing okay though, we are doing alright. Okay, hold on, we've done really well here. You're gonna bleed out, is that why you're spinning? Are you showing me that turning circle? Honestly, what if I just rush you? You've got bleed. You're going to run this way, of course you will. You're going to turn right and I'm going to predict you. Oh, never mind. I'm a liar. Come on, I can bite the tip of that tail. Hold on, what if I break check tail attack? Ooh. Another tail. I'm just going to tail kite now. <laughs> yeah, GG's. GG's, that was a good fight. Hello, Mr. Dime. It is time. I, oh, I'm going to say I'm really shook. I'm really shook for this fight. Dime is so good, and against an aloe, it's not going to end well, I can tell. I know what he's looking for already, you can see it. Let's try to land a bleed. Mm. Mm. This is going to be very hard. Yeah. So what do I do? Oh. Oh? I thought he crashed. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, I just feel like I can't turn around fast enough to face him. Yeah, I just can't get him. Like, against this. Oof, oof, oof. Have I got the sprint glitch? I can sprint for so long there. Maybe we hit him with some turning, turning stuff. Mm, I just don't see it happening here. I just can't get him. I turn around, he just spins. See, like I'm, I'm so close to getting him, and he just can get behind me in seconds. I just keep out with the tail attacks, trying to deal with this damage. Hey, that was, that was good for me. Big bite there. He messed up, he messed up. Capitalize on this. We don't let him reset. Okay, he can just force reset. Like, he can just run around. I can't stop him. I actually can't stop him. Whenever he wants, he can just get behind me. Look at him. Oh my god, it's so annoying. What do I do? Tail attack spam? I'm bleeding out as well. I mean, this is, this is over. Like, I, I'm dead. I'm dead now. Try and land a final bite, maybe. No, GG's, man. That just isn't. If you're an aloe and you see a dime, just run. Let's fight a lamb. Bring it on, buddy. First, I'm gonna try and land bleed. Yeah, you're looking for that tail, aren't you? I see it. I see what you're doing. I'm gonna run into you here. Nice, we got bleed. Why that doesn't that doesn't hit how? I mean, I'm not, I'm not having the tail kiting. It, it, it's not going to happen. I just, <laughs> I will just sit here. Huge body shot. See, I will happily trade those for tails. There we go. Bite the tip. Pause. <laughs> yeah, give me that tail. Big body shot. I'll happily trade these. Give me that bleed. Bang. Big bleed. Hmm. I mean, I'm doing really well here. Just don't give in to the tail kite. If I just choose to not get hit, I'm gonna win. <laughs> like, I know it's obviously not that simple, but it kind of feels that simple, you know? Like, if I just choose to not entertain the tail kiting, what's your strat going to be? Oh my god. My ear is itchy. I'm playing one-handed right now. Stop chasing me! Stop chasing me! Man, that wasn't fair. I was scratching my ear. Body shot here. Nice. Got some bleed. Gonna pretend to run in, bait the tail. Bait the tail again. Bait the tail one more time, maybe. Body shot here. Okay. I don't know what that is. Is that heal cool? Oh, that was a heal cool. You have no more scars. Okay, you're bleeding. You're no longer healing. What if I just sit here? What if I just don't want to chase you anymore because I don't want to waste my stam? Hmm? What then? If I bite your face? Hmm. Yeah, that was a heal cool. <laughs> If that heal cool didn't exist, then sure it was winnable. But right now, doesn't feel very winnable. Hmm. If I could have had bleed, if I could have had more bleed on, I may have been able to prevent that. 
If you're gonna fight a lamb as an aloe, bleed. Okay, Mr. Styrek, I think this is gonna be a very close fight. Oh, are you? Oh, oh, I'm very confused. Oh, I'm lagging? Oh, hold on. Let me just disengage. <laughs> that, was a, that was a little interesting. Mm, I want to land bleed, but it's kind of hard. I'm being outturned. You're gonna charge? Oh, you're very funky. Oh, this is some really nice turning from this guy. Is that bleed? No. Okay, you know what? That's enough of trying to land it. Let's just try and land some good bites. Hmm. Okay, very nice, very well played. I'll keep using my tail though. It's a shame they nerfed Aloe's balanced tail, but all balanced tails are now 5% turning instead of 15. So, that's a, it's a shame, but tail attack is alright. Let's just keep using it here. We can't really get this. It's not very easy to bite this sty. Oh, that might be it. Yep, GG's. GG's, GG's.